dynamic model portfolios allow you to change the allocations of your portfolio by adjusting the holdings over time. In this video, I'll walk through the process of creating a dynamic portfolio, as well as what you can do with the portfolio once it has been uploaded onto iCharts. To get started creating the portfolio, I'm going to head to create new up here and then blank dynamic portfolio. Once I'm in this section, it will look a bit different than some of the other portfolio options we have. With our dynamic portfolios specifically, we are going to have to upload via an Excel file. So to grab that template, I'm going to select upload data here and then download our template. Before I'm going to enter in that information, I do really recommend looking over the data formatting requirements here, just so when you go to upload the template, you don't run into any errors. So when you open the template here, it's going to have three columns, the date, symbol, and target weight column. In this section here is where you're going to enter in all of your current and historic holdings. So you won't have separate spreadsheets for each time you update your holdings, it will all live in one section. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste over all of my holdings for my portfolio and I'll be back. As you can see here, I've added in all of my information, including all of the different date periods, as well as the ticker symbols and the target weights. Uh, for here, you can see I'm using decimals and I'm making sure each time period adds up to one, which is the requirement in order to get the portfolio uploaded on our website. I'm just going to save this here and then go and upload onto the website. All right, now that I've imported the Excel file, I'll just have to make a few other adjustments. The first is giving this portfolio a name. So I'm just going to add that here. And then I can make a few other adjustments that are similar to some of the other portfolios, such as adjusting the benchmark, the rebalance frequency, even giving this an advisory fee. Once I'm happy with how this looks, I'm going to click save and then the portfolio will start to calculate. All right, so the portfolio has finished calculating. And as you can see here, the first page you'll see looks very similar to any other page that we have on the YCharts website. On this quote page, it's going to be a pretty broad overview of performance data. We'll have holding and allocation data as well as some risk data. And then each one of these tabs here in this ribbon will get a little bit more specific. So one I like to look at uh, specifically for model portfolios is the stress test tab here. This will help me see how the portfolio is done during stressful times, like during COVID or when there were interest rate hikes. And then I'm also even able to add my own custom stress test to this as well. Going beyond the ribbon though, if I'd like to take my portfolio analysis a step further, I can select this quick flows tab here. And what this is going to do is going to open up a new screen and this is going to allow me to view my portfolio and other tools such as charts, scenarios, and tables without me having to build them all up from scratch. So we give a few different templates here and we offer the ability to just look at the portfolio itself or add in a comparison security. So looking at the comparison securities here, if I want to see how my portfolio has done against the S&P 500 in bull and bear markets, I'm going to select this and it will bring me into a comp table here. As you can see, it automatically added those securities as well as a bunch of different financial metrics. So it's saving me time so I don't have to build this out myself. And then if I just scroll down here, I can see how these two securities have compared. If I head back to the model portfolio, the last thing I'm going to showcase here is the ability to pull PDF reports. So these are great if you have a client meeting coming up as it puts all of this data into some easy to read and understand modules. So to pull a report, I'm just going to select reports up here. We have a few different types of reports that you can pull. I'm just going to be looking at an overview report. So just this portfolio itself. And I'm actually going to pull a report that I created. It was custom created by me in our report builder tool. And I'm just going to give it a name here, generate. Once this portfolio has loaded here, I'm able just to quickly view the different modules I added. For instance, these are some of our performance modules. And then on the second page here, I added a few different modules pertaining to holdings and allocation information. 
If you have any questions on our dynamic model portfolios, please reach out to your designated account manager. Thank <laughs> you.